Okay, um, I'm back where I was this morning. Seems quite a long time ago. So uh, for me, the day on the Bring Your Own Device for Learning course, this has been, if you like, my day, uh, because I felt as though I've had the facilitation role and um, yeah, had the chat earlier. And as was discussed in the tweet chat um, with Rebecca Sellers, at least two of us were uh, confronting a pint, having got out of the tweet chat, um, I've moved on to the hard stuff, I just cannot wind down, it's really exhilarating, and, and so I have to turn to artificial substances at this point. Obviously, I, you know, I'm really quite excited about it. The day's been about collaborating, that's been our topic, it's been about wobbly, bring your own devices. Um, and it's been surprising and I suppose I just wanted to make a quick note really about some of the surprises I uh, started this morning and, and actually genuinely you know I, I had to make a couple of posts made one here over breakfast um, because in the morning trying to get up and get out to work get the dog sorted I mean a lot of people have kids but my daughter's left home now but you know we all work to those structures so you know these Devices do uh, fit into all of our lives, whoever we are, and that's, that's the point. We all work in certain rhythms, I think. We, you know, if we're employed you know, and got commitments and responsibilities and so forth, we work to patterns more often than not. So communicating, collaborating, you know, our, our topics are very related a lot. You know, it, we, we've separated them so that we can try to focus each day, but whether we're just communicating or collaborating, collaborating is much more about being in sync. Uh, and so trying to work out how all of this fits in and how devices like this can, can help it is really quite interesting. Interesting, I, I use the expression in sync because I think one of the surprises for me today, not surprises really, uh, but you have to stop and think about it. Collaboration involves people working together and, and someone in the chat was talking about being productive together, I think. Um, but it's not necessarily synchronous and that is one of the big things about bring your own device it's your time shifting I mean one of my questions in the, for, the, for the chat this evening was very much about time it was the questions I was talking about earlier you know who when where how but you know the time one was there and that was important I think one of the surprises today is that we can appreciate um, the asynchronous nature of collaboration. When you think of collaboration, you do tend to think of people working together, you know, in, uh, in actual time, in sync. And that's what we're used to when we're thinking about collaboration. But actually it turns out with Bring Your Own Devices that the asynchronous interactivity is not just the second best. When, you know, one of the things that happened today was I collaborated with three other people on this course, but in the real world, because I put that call out for the bar camp and um, three people came in, uh, which was really nice. Could have been 20, could have been one, it could have been no one. But actually, it, there's a video there Rob Appleford uh, has posted, um, which probably answers a lot of this. But we did make the point together when we were together that it was really nice to see people in real life. And then I had a question, well, you know, does video actually convey that? Because we started talking about body language and so forth. And um, Julie was talking about, you know, shrugs and, of shoulders and eye contact and things like that. And, you know, that she was saying that's why collaborating in the same place, face to face, was actually really quite important. Uh, and so you have to question, well, does the device, is that just a second best? And we realized that 
No, it doesn't have to be. That brings special properties as well. Anyway, I, I could talk all night, and I've been talking all day. I need to do more drinking. I'm sure I need to do more drinking. Mm, not bad. And it's my birthday tomorrow. And I'm now thinking, oh, I'm going to miss the last day because I'm going out tomorrow evening. But I'm, I'm just talking on Facebook with the other facilitators because I want to collaborate. I want to be there in the chat, but I'm going to be in a cinema. Um, and I need to have family time. And, and I'm, I'm desperately trying to work out how to collaborate. And this time thing comes up again, doesn't it? I want to be part of that action tomorrow evening, even though I can't actually be there. I will come up with a way. I've got to be creative. So that's uh, tomorrow's topic, creative creativity. It's the one I really wanted to lead on, to be honest. It's my, it's my thing, but Chris is uh, a bit keen in that area as well. Anyway, I'll say uh, good evening or good night and get uh, stuck into this very nice Irish whiskey. And I should just note, uh, finally, that was something else I've learned from Mel Sig. And I have to thank Jethro Newton um, for introducing me to Irish whiskey uh, at a